SmackDown featured lots of new developments for Zelina Vega, so we'll see what's up there. We'll also check out the latest for Bianca Belair, Paul Heyman, and more. Starting things off with the latest for Zelina Vega and the entire battle between LWO and Santos Escobar. This is a feud that first kicked off after Crown Jewel several months ago, and it did start off with a hot kickoff. Santos revealed his true colors to Rey Mysterio and LWO, as well as bringing in three new members into his own new faction after splitting from LWO. The storyline has slowed down in recent weeks. It still feels like they're just buying time until Rey Mysterio is back, and once he eventually returns, then the story should kick back into full gear again. Rey's return status has become a bit of a mystery now. Reports originally claimed that Rey's knee injury was nothing major, and just an ordinary cleanup procedure and how he would allegedly be back by the end of January. But that time frame has now come and gone. But maybe we could still expect to see Rey Mysterio return in the coming weeks, and maybe they'll possibly save Rey vs. Santos or a faction vs. faction match for WrestleMania 40 itself. But even without Rey's return, the story still took an interesting direction recently, especially for Zelina Vega. Zelina vs. Tiffany Stratton was set on SmackDown as an Elimination Chamber qualifier match, which was a very interesting matchup of Zelina, a veteran mean roster superstar that's still hunting down her first singles title, versus Tiffany, the young superstar who was just as hungry for the same opportunity. Zelina Vega seemed to be in control of the match until Santos, Electra, Angel, and Berto popped up at ringside behind commentary. Zelina ended up getting distracted and getting physical with Electra, which led to Tiffany Stratton getting the upper hand and winning the match. After the match, in a digital WWE exclusive, Zelina Vega had some fiery words to send towards Santos Escobar. Zelina said that the match against Tiffany was important to her because she's been trying to climb back into the title picture since last year's Backlash event. And Zelina feels like had Electra not gotten involved, she would have beaten Tiffany and gotten one step closer to her dreams of entering the title picture again. Zelina said she doesn't know what else she has to prove to people in order to show them that she should be champion and deserves to go to WrestleMania. Zelina now says her focus will be on Legato. Zelina then had a very interesting line. She had this to say, quote, This is all your fault, Santos. Remember who I was before LWO? Remember why you came to me in the first place? Because I promise you, I'm going to go right back to that. End quote. And this is actually a great quote by Zelina Vega since it does acknowledge her heel past. Prior to Rey Mysterio joining forces with Santos Escobar and turning the faction into LWO, Zelina Vega had been a heel for basically her entire WWE career. For her time with Andrade, her time as Queen of the Ring, tag teaming with Carmella, and the very start of her time with Santos Escobar, Zelina Vega was a heel during all those major eras of her career. So it's nice to see Zelina acknowledge her heel past and remind Santos about the way she used to be prior to the LWO and why he was the one who came to recruit her in the first place. He knows what a heel Zelina Vega is capable of, and Zelina wants to remind him that her old ways are still in there, they're just not gone all of a sudden. Zelina Vega made it really clear that in that backstage interview that she's willing to tap back into her old ways and antics in order to get the upper hand on Legato. So that's something very interesting that Zelina is teasing here. Usually when a character converts to babyface or heel, they lose a majority of their antics and ways from their previous personas. No heel ways ever carries into a newly turned babyface and vice versa. But Zelina appears to be teasing this exact idea. She's saying that she plans on staying who she is right now with the LWO, but bringing back some of her old scrappy heel antics in order to get rid of Legato once and for all, and for her to get focused again on the WWE women's title maybe down the line this year. So hopefully Zelina Vega does snap and show a bit of her darker side while still remaining a babyface. Grayson Waller will be interviewing Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins at Elimination Chamber. 
And we previously discussed how these last few episodes of Raw and SmackDown before the event may build up some hype for that segment. And the February 16th edition of SmackDown featured a very short segment that did exactly that. Paul Heyman was seen talking to Grayson Waller for a brief moment backstage on SmackDown. The two were seen discussing things for a couple of seconds, but were unable to hear the conversation and what's being said. But given the current circumstances, we can assume that Paul Heyman was telling Grayson Waller some words about the upcoming interview with Cody and Seth. Obviously, we don't know the exact words of what Paul Heyman said, but just looking at the current landscape of the storyline, you can definitely make some safe assumptions. Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins are obviously the biggest threats to Roman Reigns at the current moment, so it definitely seems in the realm of possibility for Paul Heyman to maybe instruct Grayson Waller to try and investigate this situation to drive Cody and Seth further apart from each other, try and ruin this little partnership that they've formed in recent weeks. If Cody and Seth start drifting away from each other and their partnership gets weaker, this obviously leaves Cody in a vulnerable state for Roman and the bloodline to capitalize on. So it's safe to assume that that's the sort of conversation Paul Heyman and Grayson Waller were having. Just Heyman advising Waller to stir the pot between Cody and Seth. And who even knows, maybe Heyman even promised Waller a future reward for his cooperation. That definitely seems like something Heyman would say and do. So the segment itself at Elimination Chamber and the things Waller says and asks could also be another big clue, an indication of what Heyman told him to say. But no matter how you look at it, Roman maybe thinks right now that he's in a safe spot, especially with The Rock in his corner. But you could argue that Roman is probably still in the most dangerous spot he's ever been through in his entire title reign. Roman has had Cody, Seth, and maybe even The Rock himself all coming after him and his title. So it'll be a rough couple of months here for Roman Reigns. Bianca Belair broke her silence this week on a longtime rumor and conspiracy about a certain big spot in her matches. During Bianca's big matches, she'll often take her braid and use it as a weapon on her opponent. And it's not really looked at as a foreign object that gets disqualified since it's just her hair. But as we've seen time and time again, the braid does hurt and leaves brutal marks on her opponents. But a lot of fans always question if the hair whips were fake and just added sound effects by WWE. Well, in a recent interview with Ring the Bell, Bianca addressed the rumor and said that the hair whips are 100% real with no extra added sound effects. The sounds you hear are actual sounds of impact from those hair whips. And obviously the scars that it's leaving behind on her opponents are even more proof of it being legit as well. As far as things go with Bianca Belair, she doesn't seem to have a clear feud at the moment, but considering she was at least at the WrestleMania press conference, just had a Hulu show released, and has an undefeated streak going at WrestleMania, a lot of fans are expecting to see her in action at WrestleMania 40 in some capacity. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.